Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio celebrated a Mass honoring the 100th anniversary of Bishop Francis Xavier Ford's ordination as a priest. At the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph, Chinese Catholics, Mary Knoll sisters, and family members prayed for Bishop Ford's canonization. As a Chinese tradition, we have to come here to have a memorial for him, for uh, Bishop Ford. It's really, really important for the Chinese people, and then we have to come here today. It's the bishop, he gave his life to, for the evangelization of China. So as a Chinese, we are so proud of him. Bishop Ford celebrated his first solemn mass here in St. Joseph's Church and grew up just blocks away. And it was here in Brooklyn that his martyrdom was felt as a loss of a family member. Loretta Sheridan Dunn, a cousin of Bishop Ford, remembers the moment he told his family he was returning to China or he would be martyred in 1952. He said, I have to go back. My people need me there. And so he went back knowing what he was going back to and going back willingly. Leaders of the Mary Knoll Sisters say the way Bishop Ford sent sisters out from the convent in pairs to live among the Chinese people is an example that can inspire vocations among young people today. Tap into their desire for God and to serve the poor, and that will lead them into new directions as Bishop Ford was led. That's part of our charism, to go where the people are and live the gospel. Family and community members presented relics of Bishop Ford. Bishop DiMarzio announced that the Committee for the Canonization of Bishop Ford has officially begun its work. He said there is one important way that all the faithful can move Bishop Ford's canonization forward. Pray to Bishop Ford. We know he will intercede with the Lord so that your prayers may be answered. The devotion shown in this Mass promises to add momentum to Bishop Ford's cause. In Prospect Heights, Conrad Aderer, Currents News.